God greatly rewards those who love him and who love his word. If you love God, you're going to love his word. So if you're not, like, trying to understand what's in this How to Have Awesome Emotions manual, you're not going to have very awesome emotions. And there's a spiritual war going on. And Satan doesn't want us to have awesome emotions. He doesn't want us to believe in God's truth. But we can choose to resist the devil. We can choose to believe what God's word says and resist what Satan tries to tell us. If we listen to Satan, we'll be filled with fear and depression and anger. If we believe God's truth, we can be filled with love, joy, and peace. Spiritual love, joy, and peace. It's like when I first got saved, I thought, where is this joy coming from? Where is this peace coming from? Then as I read the Bible, I thought, oh, it's a gift from God for those who love him and obey him, who are close to him. The Bible says, draw close to God, he'll draw close to you. The Bible says in God's presence is the fullness of joy, supernatural joy. You can't get it from drugs. You can't get it from entertainments. You can only get it from God if you want it. So I was going to entitle this one something else, God's Way to Control Your Emotions. So I'll explain a bit about that. Um, we got to believe that we're in control of our emotions. Like I said, what we choose to believe, we feel. If I choose to believe God greatly loves me, I feel greatly loved. If I choose to believe Satan's lie, God doesn't love you, I don't feel very loved by God. And that's the way it works. Learn the truth, believe in the truth, it'll create good emotions, it'll create a good relationship with an awesome God, and then you'll have awesome emotions God's way. If you keep believing Satan's lies, there is no God. God doesn't love you. God can't make you joyful. You're never going to Awesome emotions, God's way. So, I guess Christians are sort of like salesmen for awesome emotions. I'm going to teach you the truth so you can have awesome emotions. Uh, they come from God. And God rewards you. You don't take money from people. God rewards you for doing it. For preaching his truth to help people to get close to him through the cross. And start to have good emotions from him through the Holy Spirit's fruit. So like I said, God's way to control your emotions. Well, that's through controlling your belief system. God gives us a free will ch choice to believe what we want. His truth or Satan's lies. And to the extent that we choose to believe God's truth instead of Satan's lies, do we have good, awesome emotions from God? There's a fullness of joy in God's presence. No, there's not. God loves me. No, he doesn't. So if you're listening to Satan, you're going to have all kinds of terrible emotions. Depression, fear, anger, stuff like that. If you're listening to God, you can have awesome emotions. So we have to believe the truth. We control our emotions. If I, to the extent that I want to think God's awesome, to the extent that I want to think that there's a fullness of joy in His presence, to the extent that I want to think I can be filled with His Holy Spirit, with love, joy, and peace, do I experience those things? <laughs> To the extent I doubt in those things, I miss out on those things. So you got to understand, the first thing, Satan's saying, you don't control your emotions, you don't have a free will choice to believe and feel or whatever. No, Satan, you're a liar. Chase him away. God says I got a free will choice. God says if I choose, I can have great and awesome emotions. If you choose to draw close to God, then he'll choose to draw close to you. If you think there's a fullness of joy in God's presence, there will be. If you think the Holy Spirit could fill you with love, joy, and peace, he will. Even in a prison, like Paul. Paul learned to be content in whatever circumstance he was in. He could rejoice in the Lord always, no matter what was going on. Jesus doesn't want us to fear. Fear comes from trying to believe that God's not here, God won't help you from Satan. The truth is, God is always with you, and God can help you with all your problems. There's no problem Jesus can't solve for you. I've been alive for 60 years, and he's solved all my problems so far, and he'll continue to solve all my problems. He'll never leave or forsake me. If you can think that you're like a bride of the king of the universe, that makes you feel pretty good. If you think you're going to a place that's got a thousand times greater technology when you die, you're you can't wait to go to heaven. But if you have to still remain on earth to try to glorify God through teaching his truth to people, then that's what you need to do. 
says that our joy and our peace are like in our love are like witnesses to others that Christianity is true. That they don't have it without a Christian God. But we can have it with a Christian God. And then God can teach it. Yeah, Satan's real. He's trying to get you to believe lies and destroy your emotions. You need to fight him off with the truth. Start winning our spiritual war against Satan. So people need to believe they're in control of their emotions by the beliefs they choose to believe. If they choose to believe God's truth, they can have awesome emotions. If they choose to believe Satan's lie, they'll have terrible emotions. Their emotions reveal what we're believing. Satan's lies or God's truth. And so that's basically it. God's saying choose in the Bible. He's saying choose what to believe or choose to have faith in the truth or choose to doubt in the truth. Choose to win the spiritual war or lose the spiritual war. Choose to read the awesome emotions manual or not. God's way to awesome emotions manual. Choose to believe Satan's lies or choose to believe his truth and it'll be reflected in the emotions you have. It's as simple as that. You don't want to read the Bible and learn what the truth is to believe. You're not going to have very good emotions. You don't want to get saved through the cross of Jesus Christ. You're not going to have very good emotions. You choose to get saved through the cross of Jesus Christ and the blood of the Lamb. Take your sins away. Enable you to get into perfect Father God's presence or perfect husband Jesus' presence. Then you'll start to have awesome emotions, spiritual emotions, like God promises in his word. If you believe in it, you'll receive it. If you doubt in it, you'll miss out on it. You're in control of your emotions. You can decide how awesome your emotions can be, how awesome you think God is, how much fullness of joy you want. You know what a fullness of joy is? It's a, you, can't, you can't fill it up anymore. It's, it's enough. Thank you, God. God wants to hear thank you, too. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you for your love, joy, and peace. Thank you for being so awesome to me. It's like thinking you don't have to wait for Christmas to get the greatest gift. You don't have to wait to Christmas to be full of joy by grabbing some physical gift under a tree, like a kid on Christmas or something. You can be that happy right now if you want to be. If God is your greatest gift, you can have him all the time. If you want fullness of joy, you can experience it if you want to. It's a choice. It's a free will choice. We control our emotions with our choice. And if we choose to believe God's truth, we can have awesome emotions. And if we choose to believe Satan's lies, we'll have terrible emotions.